So I have three ideas for my Media A2 project. Um, the first one plays on like a modern day version of the Greek myth uh, about narcissism, in which a man who uh, is adored by everyone is cursed by the gods, um, and they create like a fountain, and every time he looks into this fountain he sees the most beautiful woman, and he can't take her eyes off of her, but whenever he goes towards her she uh, vanishes. Um, and he becomes so obsessed with finding this beautiful woman that he stops eating and drinking and eventually dies um, because he's so obsessed. Uh, I, I took that and did a similar thing in which there's this uh, really uh, an outcast um, at a secondary school. He's jealous of the really popular kid, um, so he wishes one night that he can get all this attention. But instead of him getting all the attention, the popular guy becomes delirious and he becomes obsessed with everyone he sees. He sees like the same face, the same beautiful woman. Um, but whenever he goes up to them, they disappear and he can't focus on anything else. Um, and it takes over his life. Uh, coming off of that, a similar kind of idea. Uh, but the nerdy guy becomes obsessed with power and he wishes that he's loved like the other guy. And he eventually becomes um, insane and mad with power. Um, he, uh, it drives him so mad that it results in losing and all of his friends and he ends up where he started again, so it would play on like a circular narrative more. Um, a completely separate idea. Uh, it was more of a comedic parody uh, than the more serious tones of that. Uh, it would be about a scientist who works out to create living dinosaurs, kind of like in Jurassic Park. But uh, the only downsides is they're a thousandth of the size of a normal dinosaur. And it follows this presentation he does at a university or something where he unveils this amazing, um, this amazing discovery. Um, but eventually some ants get to his dinosaurs and, and eat them alive, resulting in him being very sad, I guess. Um, the third idea was going to be based off the footage I recorded when I was in Kenya over the summer. And it would focus on a couple of the children in the orphanage I was working at. Um, it would focus on one kid called Stephanie, who uh, mum and dad both died when they were living in the slums. And the orphanage I was working at found them at a baby home and would nurture them back up to health. But before they were up, basically they were starving. They hadn't been eaten properly and they were like a bag of bones. They were very, very ill. They were, they were very sick in this baby home, brought them back up to health and then the orphanage took them into educate them, further their development, uh, sort of bring them up in a, in a better world. Uh, the second child that I wanted to focus on was a girl called Eve, and she, um, she was abused by her stepmom when she was little. Um, her stepmom would like throw knives at her uh, when she got annoyed, and there's actually a scar on her arm of where one of the knives hit her. I mean, the only way she could have defended herself was holding her hands up in front of her face, um, but it would focus on these two examples and question after seeing all of that, because it was like a Christian organisation I went with, I went with my church, um, it would focus on whether after seeing all of these terrible things I can still thoroughly believe that there is a God. Um, yeah, and it would, it would go pretty deep um, into that kind of religious aspect, I guess. Yeah.